Libertarian Party nominee Gary Johnson had some strong words to say about Donald Chicken Shit Trump. Take a look. State governor, it's incendiary to 50% of the population of New Mexico that he's talking about Hispanics, Mexicans in this way when the absolute opposite is true. We call him out on what is really racist. It's just racist. Now, he talked about what he had to say about Trump on CNN with Chris Cuomo, and he even decided to taunt Trump a little bit. Trump will say, one, being Mexican is not a race. Two, as you know, former Governor Johnson, the people coming across the border illegally are often not the best that Mexico has to offer. That isn't true, Chris. That, that's what, that is what is so misunderstood. The people coming across the border are people that just want jobs. The jobs are there, but, there but they can't get the But there are criminals who come as well. That's absolutely. So how about making a system whereby it would be easy to get a work visa a moving line to get across the border, getting having a work visa, so that the people crossing the border illegally, that the Border Patrol would actually be able to identify those people, as opposed to mothers with children that are actually waiting across the Rio Grande because of jobs that exist and they can't get over to, uh, to, to take advantage but of But is them. Trump wrong when he says they also send the worst, not the best. No. They're rapists and murderers that uh, come as well. Absolutely untrue. But you have the cases like the one in San Francisco, not Look, only to give not, a bash to sanctuary <clears throat> cities, but showed that this guy had been kicked out. He comes back in, he kills somebody. Statistics. You know, you always have the worst. And I don't want to in any way defend the worst. But statistically, legal, illegal immigrants commit far less crime than U.S. citizens. That's statistically speaking. Are you ready for Donald Trump once you're in this thing and he recognizes you to give you a big I, punch in the nose for calling him a racist? I think that they, they've already started coming. So, you know, Donald. That's an interesting rebuttal you have there, Governor. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I liked it. Now, Trump, because he's triggered so easily, because he's very PC, he can't handle it when anyone talks smack about him, so he had to respond. He said, uh, I look at Gary Johnson, and I watch him, and I watch his motions, and I watch what he says. I think that he's a fringe candidate. Okay, I don't really know what most of that means by watching his motions and stuff. That actually seems creepy. But by saying he's a fringe candidate, that's just entirely inaccurate. He may be a third party candidate, but that doesn't inherently make him a fringe candidate. Donald Trump is the definition of a fringe candidate. He is a right wing extremist who literally wants to implement fascist policies. I'm going to tell you what's fringe. Creating a Muslim ID system and banning them from entering or exiting the country? That's fringe. Wanting to actually kill civilians is fringe. Saying that you'll force Mexico to pay for a wall on our southern border is absolutely fringe. You're the definition of fringe, Donald Trump. Gary Johnson is actually on the political spectrum. You're off the spectrum, buddy. You're fringe. You have zero right to call anyone fringe ever. And furthermore, what Donald Trump doesn't realize is that this fringe candidate here is polling at 10% in two polls. So this fringe candidate may very well take away enough votes from you to cost you the election, Donald Trump. So you don't get to call Gary Johnson fringe because he's talking shit about you and is being accurate in his critiques of you. You're the fringe candidate and your supporters are right-wing extremists. They're fringe. So uh, I absolutely love this. I think that Gary Johnson, of all the libertarians, even more so than Rand Paul, is a phenomenal candidate. I don't agree with him on 100% of the issues, but about 60 to 70%, I think he's 100% right. So I really hope that Gary Johnson continues to attack Trump because... Uh, what I've learned throughout this election is that if you actually want to get media coverage and you're not Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, you have to attack Donald Trump. Bernie Sanders got press coverage when he attacked him. Hillary Clinton gets a, a press coverage when she attacks him. And third party candidates get press coverage when they attack Donald Trump. So if Gary Johnson keeps this up, he could rise even higher in the polls. So I applaud you.